How you guys doing out there? I hope you guys are well. Hope you guys are blessed. It is a beautiful Shabbat day down here in South America. And we're doing what we always do on Shabbat, which is reading scriptures. And um, the really cool thing is that we are at the very end of building what I think is probably the greatest scriptures that have, has ever been presented. And the Yaz scriptures is a compilation of several different translations uh, along with getting all the apocrypha out and then retranslating this ourselves so that the names of our creator and his son the, is all back to where it is so we've gotten rid of all the pagan stuff across 103 different books and so we are on the final week or weeks basically about 10 days left before the Yah scriptures goes to print and Yah's scriptures is a lot different than any other scriptures out there. Because number one is we provided the PDF absolutely free. And the PDFs will be absolutely free. The most um, up-to-date current PDFs will always be for free. You can get them at yahooandthetorah.net or you can get them at yahscriptures.com. And um, they're all there. Not only that, um, we are at the tail end. The coders let us know last week that <laughs> they were supposed to have the Google app out at the end of this week, it didn't happen again. So we're about three weeks late on the Google app, but they are putting this together. They are still working on it. And we will also be putting out the uh, free eSword modules as well for all of this. And those will be out hopefully before the end of the year. And so Boss Clan, my family and I, there's five of us here, we've been working very, very diligently. Now this is for over a solid year at this point. Um, now that we, we've passed in October, we've been at this solid year. And there's also other families and other people who have generously contributed to this project, to getting this project out, to getting these scriptures as perfect as we can do. And so as I was going through what my final reading is in Revelations, and this is the, this is the final last reading of Revelations prior to an outside source who we have essentially hired to do a final um, read there's a team outside of any one of us that have ever even looked at this and they're going to be going through exactly what i'm doing right here uh, a whole a, a little team of them and so we are on right here we are on revelations 15 and i've gotten like seven or eight chapters done today but this what you see on the left hand is you see the original scan of the hallelujah scriptures and the original scan of the hallelujah scriptures most people think it's like the most the, the best translation out there, like there's no errors or anything of the sort. But when you look at a, a frame of it, when you look at it from a standpoint where we've rebuilt, um, there's over 1.4 million words of what we've rebuilt between this and the Apocrypha. And there's a ton of issues. Their commas are out of place. You know, the Holy Scriptures originally stole this from the Institute for Scripture Research. And I don't know where the Institute for Scripture Research got this. Um, Chris Costner, um, you know, a lot of people think this originally came out of there, but unfortunately, because of the actions of the Holy Scriptures, they've been hoarding this Scriptures for the last 10, 12 years. You have to be qualified to even get it. You have to pay the money to get it. And when we started giving out this free PDF, the Holy Scriptures started legally attacking us. They attacked our YouTube channel. They went and they tried to take our websites offline uh, 60, 70 times. These people went at it. Um, over the last year, this has been the Hallelujah Scriptures war on Boss Clan. It's the war on giving free scriptures out. And they lost the war on giving free scriptures out because we've given out the scriptures over 20,000 times, 20-some 20, 20 thousand times, and the rest of them, we have a, a download count of over 25,000 times. And so people this year definitely got the scriptures. And so that is a blessing because a lot of people don't have the right translations. And a lot of people don't even care, right? Let's get let's let's be honest about this whole thing. Most people don't care about what our creator is or who he is or what he does or his word or anything like that. You have all these religions out there. They they just don't care. But for those of us who truly do care what our creator has to say, these are extra special words. These are these are really really great because they don't have the same um, pagan stuff as all the rest. And so hopefully this will get into the hands of people who love our creator. And, you know, when we were talking about the, the second covenant and the, and, and the renewed covenant, right? The, the, the new, renewed, what, however you'd like to, to call it. It talks about a time in the world where everybody and their, their dog, they know 
Yahuwah. They know, they know our creator. They know his words. They know his ways. You won't have to explain to people about the laws, statutes, and commandments. You won't have to explain it because everybody that's in this little circle that's talking about the new covenant, renewed covenant, they know. So they know everything about this. And so we are not to these days right now because most people don't know who Yahuwah is. And so um, I just, before I begin on this, I just wanted to spend a little last time with you guys because a lot of you guys will probably never ever know how these scriptures came to be and how they came to be built. And essentially it was one line at a time, one character at a time. Everything in the Hallelujah scriptures was rebuilt. It was re-put back in. Their errors were fixed up. The ISR's errors were fixed up. All of these manuscripts, they have been fixed up. And um, so this is what we're doing right here. On the left-hand side, you see the Hallelujah scriptures. That's the original Hallelujah scriptures scan. The very first scan that we did that the Hallelujah scriptures decided they did not want their their word out to the people and so they started uh, attacking us legally and what's on the right hand side is you this is our pdf this is our final version of this this is the one that's going right before it goes to the printers and i'll show you how we're doing right now and there's a lot of people that are going through books right now that are putting these just making sure every jot every tittle every quote and comma and parenthesis anything that is in there is there and there's not a lot of parentheses so that's other manuscripts let's take a quick look at it and this is this is what i do over here so um looking at it basically we're gonna start right here and i guess you guys will be hanging out with me doing this right here for this little first little bit and i saw another sign in the shimayim and i'm looking at this and it looks like there is a quote outside of this on theirs and i don't know if that's a bleed through or what but we do not have that up there so it looks like just probably a bleed through and these are the things that we're looking at it's on the left hand side uh shamayim comma right great and marvelous colon now i'm looking over at the other side and i'm doing the exact same thing and i saw another sign in the shamayim with a comma great and marvelous colon seven messengers having the lead, reading from the left hand side seven messengers having the seven last plagues comma now I'm reading over on the right-hand side. Seven messengers having the seven last plagues. Comma, left-hand side. For the wrath of Yahuwah was ended in them. For the wrath of Yahuwah was ended in them. Chapter 2, verse 2. And I saw a sea of glass mixed with fire. And so we have that on the right-hand side. That matches up and I have a sea of glass mixed with fire. Comma. And those overcoming the beast in his image and his mark... Reading to the other side, and those overcoming the beast and his image and his mark. Okay. And the number of his name, comma. And the number of his name, comma. Got it. Standing on the sea of glass, standing on the sea of glass, comma. Holding harps of Elohim. With a capital Elohim. Okay. All that checks out. So this is what groups of people are doing right now right to get the very best translation ever ever that's ever been out there and it's completely free of charge so this is um you kind of see what the team of people for Yah scriptures are doing and um yeah so guys if you have not downloaded the pdf yet pdf is in the description below also with the apocrypha the revision three of the apocrypha which is the final version of the Apocrypha, and that will be going into um, print very, very shortly as well. And so guys, make sure you guys download that. And I will keep on doing what I'm doing, but I just wanted to kind of show you guys what exactly it takes to build a scripture and to get the scriptures right. Because the last thing we want to do, not want to do, is to mess with the us scriptures, right? There's a lot of curses inside of scriptures for people messing with, you know, Deuteronomy 4.2 is do not add or take away. From the Torah, and also there's curses inside of Revelations. If you mess up the, the prophecies, um, you're going to be doomed. So there's a lot of uh, work we have to do on this. we got to make sure it's done right. So much love to everybody out there. Hope you guys are having an awesome Shabbat. Much love. I'm out.